Ahoy, this is Zdenka. RGB lights are a norm these days. A lot of photographers and videographers are using them. I'm one of them. One is over there, then there's one behind me, and then there's one on the other side. I got three of them. This one, this one, and this one. Now, all these lights are rectangular. I haven't reviewed a tube light on this channel yet until now. I've got here Iwada Master S RGB light, which was provided by puregear.com, which is an online store. You can buy anything when it comes to photography and video gear. Let's review this. Iwata has a series of these lights, uh, Master E and Master R, which are the longest tube lights. Now this one, this newest edition is the smallest one, Master S. It is 260 millimeters long, it is 38 millimeters wide, and it weighs 370 grams. What you are going to get is the light itself, a pouch bag, which is quite thin. I don't see too much protection here, so I would suggest wrapping it up with something much thicker down the road. There are also two silicone rings, three iron sheets, USB-C charging cable, two times quarter inch screws, hook, loop, and quick start guide. When you look at the light, you will notice quarter inch screw on each side, so you can attach it to a stand. Charging port is right here. Lithium battery capacity is displayed on the screen. It took about 40 minutes to fully charge it, and you will get about two hours at 100% power and about 64 hours at 1% power. Maximum power is 6 watt. Input voltage and current is displayed on a screen. The light can be used as it is charging. That's a good thing. You can use this light in temperatures between minus 5 to plus 35, and storage can handle minus 20 to plus 60 Celsius. The housing is aviation aluminium, so the light shouldn't get hot. And I also noticed that there is magnet on each side. You can operate this light manually or you can operate it via app on your smartphone. Let's look at the manual version first. This is how you turn it on. First of all, I really like the power button that it just switches to the side and if it's on, you see a green color. If it's off, it's red. Very straightforward. The OLED display screen is nice. You can see all the information there. How much battery is left? How much time is left in the current settings? Plus and minus buttons will allow you to control the intensity of the light. I want to see how strong this light is. So my camera settings right now, I'm filming 24 frames per second, so it's 1 50th. Um, the ISO is set to 250. So let's see if I put it all the way to 100%. This is the full power. It's quite strong light, actually. If I put it on me, that's pretty strong. And let me dim it now to just one. And this is what you're gonna get. M button will let you switch between intensity, current color temperature, and current GM. That goes from minus 50 to plus 50. In CCT mode, CCT range is 2000 Kelvin to 10,000 plus minus 200K. And color rendering index is CRI 96, TLC 98. Beam angle of the light is 120 degrees. Illuminance is displayed on the screen. When you long press the M button, it will switch from CCT to HSI mode, where you can change intensity, hue, and saturation. And when you long press the M button again, you will get to scene effects, where you can select intensity, 7FX, and 21 presets. What is really nice is that you can actually control the intensity of the effects. Some of the other lights I have there, they don't allow me that. It's When it comes to effects, it's just strong. That's, that's it. I can dim it down. Let's see what effects we have here. Photo Flash FX has product lunch, press conference, paparazzi, fire effect has candle, fireplace, and bonfire, lighting effect has intermittent, frequent, and continuous, fireworks effect has short, continuous, and show, warming light effect has police car, fire truck, and ambulance. 
Color chase effect has slow, medium, and fast. And party effect has birthday party, home party, and club. F button will allow you to turn off the light and keep the display on if you shortly press. So you don't have to turn off the whole light. That's very useful if you are doing light painting, for example. If you long press the F button, you will get to settings where you can turn on screen lock, select standby time. Default is set currently to 30 minutes. You can turn on and off art in. You can select language or hit factory reset. So that would be how you would be operating the light manually, not via the app. There is no flickering under different color temperatures and brightness. Before we get to the app, which is actually pretty cool, let me actually show you a bit of that light. So when I'm using these small lights I showed before, because of the shape, the light will be more directional and you can also attach different light modifiers. This tube light, as it is rounded, will cover more of a scene with the light. Let's actually see the difference when I'm lighting myself with the light and the other ones. Here is a result you get if you place a rectangular light on the floor. And this is what you get when you use the tube light. In photography, I used to buy these gels and I just kind of attached them to my lights to create the color effect. Well, no more. I'm not using those anymore. I'm just using the RGB lights. But because I have only one tube light, I'm going to use that one to show you some photos. So first you put the tube light on one side and then I'm just going to grab one of the other RGB lights I put on the other side and change the colors. And once you change the colors, it can just shoot away. Let's look at the app finally. By the way, what they say is that the wireless communication system can control hundreds of these lighting devices at the same time. And the distance between devices can be up to 200 meters. That's pretty cool. The app you would use with this light is called Iwata Art In. It will ask you to create an account, free account. It will take your email address in. So I guess down the road, they're gonna send you some marketing material. I wish it was just an app without the account. Pairing the device was quite simple. I had no issues with it. And here comes the part which literally blew me away. I thought I was expecting just a simple app with few settings. Let me get to this. Let's check out the controller. And first is CCT mode. When you swipe, you can change GM. Here you can change color temperature. And here is your brightness. HSI mode. Here, check out the wheel, how you can change the colors of it. That actually got me very excited and very entertained, to be honest. I kept playing with it and more and more and more. I was just staring, actually. It's quite precise. They actually have it in description. Iwata Master S has applied more efficient ARM processor and five color light engine technology so it can easily create these accurate colors and more realistic low saturation colors. Here you can do the same, like in CCT mode, adjust the brightness. Under the effects, you can just select all of these. Let's see, fireplace there. Somebody bring me a glass of wine, please, and my comfy slippers. <laughs> of course, I'm wearing them right now. Let's check out the scenes page. Here you can save your current settings. And I believe here's where you would group other devices as well. Last page is called me. Here's your account and mainly here's the firmware update, which should be checked regularly. This tube light is cool. And the color selection though, that's like, wow, you can really precisely change the colors. That really impressed me a lot. Now the magnets are quite strong. I attached it to all kinds of stuff. It is holding very well. The lights didn't get hot at all, just a little bit warm, that's all. Again, I think that the pouch should have been more protective though. I would wrap it up with something much thicker and soft. 
For those interested, international link to this product can be found below the video in video description. Yes, you can see the current pricing in your currency depending on where you live. Well, hit the thumbs up if you found this video informative and subscribe to future videos like these. If you have any questions, comments, or want to say hi or ahoy, you know what to do. You can leave it below in a comment section and I'll see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao, ahoy.